This author is a fucking genius. If you would have told me, looking at this cover alone, that this book would contain the greatest gay dude romance I have ever read in my entire life, while also giving me a kick-ass mystery wrapped up in Chinese supernatural monster hunting adventures, I would have said you were out of your goddamn mind. Take note, authors, this is how you write a romance. Not just a gay romance, any romance. This is how you write a slow burn, healthy romance. A romance, mind you, that does not take away from the rest of the story. The romance and the supernatural mystery monster hunting share equal time and importance with each other, to where they don't subtract from each other. In fact, they enhance each other. The romantic tension is just mwah, and the other stuff is great too. I think I like mysteries now thanks to this, or at least, like, this mystery. Maybe it's just this, I don't know. Also, the magic system is great. I guess if I had to complain about something, it's that we spend a lot of time in flashbacks and exposition. The author has a huge amount of world building and backstory put into this that span decades, and a lot of important stuff happened before the main story started. So, you know, it kind of messes with the momentum a bit, but honestly, it's not that bad. Ugh, I freaking love you, Mwashang Tong Chu. God, I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Thanks for the pronunciation guide, by the way. It's always great to know how proper nouns are supposed to sound. 10 out of 10, onward to the next one.